Hey guys, it's Saru, and I wanted to create a quick video about Throne and Liberty, just to kind of fight up some speculation and a lot of rumors that I have been seeing, and there's been a lot of discussions about what exactly is happening with NCSoft and with the upcoming Throne and Liberty game. So I wanted to share a few concerns of mine that I have mentioned in the past with the videos for Throne and Liberty that I have released already, alongside what we can call, I guess, speculation, and maybe some clarification that maybe people have not necessarily seen just yet. So we're going to get all that, and hopefully this will create some discussion and we can talk about it, and maybe some of the speculation stuff that I mentioned already will be true or maybe it won't be but either way let's get right into it <laughs> Now, in the very first video that I released for Throne and Liberty, I said I was wary about NCSoft for a, a few reasons. One is that there's been some information that I have found out about blockchain and NFT stuff that they're really interested in, and they want to implement it into their current and future IPs. And I think in the very last video that I made, I may be completely wrong about this because it might have been like two or three weeks ago, I did talk about the streaming part that in the preview, they mentioned mobile devices that in the beginning of the video, they said that, you know, the games don't really transfer well to mobile. And then towards the end, they did say this is kind of available to people from a mobile streaming device type of thing and I did say maybe this is PS remote and the X cloud type of thing but it's not necessarily bad after doing a lot of research so I'm gonna condense all the information that I know so far and then we can kind of go from there now I will let you know when I'm actually giving you speculation I don't want to misconstrue some of the information that I give you that's actually information versus things that are just opinions or possibilities right so this also comes in the fact of what's happening with the publisher side of things now as a player I have played a lot of NC soft games I think a lot of people have whether was the lineage series and blade and soul or guild wars which is probably one of the more popular mmorpgs of this time so i'm gonna get the big one out of the way the reason I was wary about NCSoft, and I touched a little bit about this at the very beginning, there's been an uptick, noticeably so I would say, for blockchain and play to earn NFT games. I think everyone can kind of agree that this is kind of something that's just going on non-stop. When I made my very first Throne and Liberty video, I did mention that NCSoft was interested in this type of technology, and then I've kind of touched upon it and thrown it a little bit here as a, let's call it shade, or maybe it's not shade, but mostly kind of saying, hey, you know, just kind of be careful about this. So I'm kind of explaining why I'm a little worried about this because I will continue to keep talking about this. I made an entire video about how the upcoming MMORPG future is really strange because everyone's doing this play to earn bullshit, which you can see like somewhere up here in the video. So it'll be somewhere up there. NCSoft is no exception to this. In their job postings for this particular part, when I was first looking at it, it was on LinkedIn. They're currently developing a few projects with the blockchain technology in mind. An example would be with them recruiting a blockchain NFT product owner to, and I'm quoting what they're saying here help with product management for upcoming titles designing and reviewing what they call tokenomics collaborating with internal stakeholders including executives external development studios and communities including the blockchain nft evangelists to achieve the company's nft projects and its goals now again this is straight from the linkedin page by the way like i was just checking it just Sometimes, you know, people leak stuff, you know, it might be there. And NCSoft's not the only one. I have mentioned in the past that Krafton is also doing this with their Blue Hole Studios development team, which includes the IPs of Terra, Davillion, and Alion. And they're trying to do this into a whole metaverse type of thing. And I have mentioned other companies as well. And while it does state that NCSoft is currently working on an upcoming Unreal Engine 4 game, the fact that we're getting thrown in liberty with so much promise and ideas, I'm pretty certain that at some point or another, just as they said in an interview not too long ago, stating that they're looking into whether or not adding the play to earn models into current and future games i mean it's just a little worrying for me sarcastically i did write in this notepad this particular part right now which <laughs> which is making me laugh just reading it. But I'm kind of going off script here, even though there is no script for this video. It says, I can't wait for Blade and Soul to become Blade and Token, or Guild Wars 2 to become Token Wars 2, or Lineage to become Cryptage. But even if it wasn't on LinkedIn, all you have to really do is just click on the careers page on the NCSoft West website, and the information is all there as well. Now keep in mind, this is again, NCSoft, right? So if they're doing this, this is also the company that is supposedly working on the upcoming Horizon MMORPG with Sony. So yes, I am aware of the Horizon rising MMO and I know I haven't made a video on it and I like to kind of make videos when I know 100% sure like there's something coming or there's some viable gameplay or something that I could show then I want to just make a video and then the game never releases or something you know but regardless of what's happening they do have a lot of job postings available for an upcoming unannounced Unreal Engine 4 game it's very possible that this
this could be the Horizon MMO that they're kind of hiring for, or maybe they're kind of adding new people to the Throne of Liberty game. But I guess they would have put a title header that says unannounced game. But that's why I'm worried, right? There are a lot of games that are coming out within the next few years that are going to have this whole play to earn thing because it hasn't been successfully implemented into an MMORPG yet. So there's a lot of people that are trying to become the pioneer. So I also did mention that in the video for the director's preview, they mentioned this whole thing about the mobile streaming and what's going on. So I kind of figured it out as I was actually making the video originally and I didn't add it in for some strange reason. But since then, I haven't really seen anybody really talk about this or kind of give valid information on why this kind of route would happen. So I figured I would just let you guys know about this, right? Because a lot of people don't really know about this. So a lot of players were left kind of up in arms about the fact that the game could be streamed on mobile. What this meant could it mean that there's a lot of autoplay and stuff like that? What exactly did it mean? Well, I could be totally wrong here, so you can call this speculative if you want, but I'm about 99.7% sure that I'm correct about this. <laughs> NCSoft has their own mobile streaming service called Purple. A lot of people don't know this actually, but if you've been a loyal customer of theirs for their Lineage series, then you kind of know this exists already. Now, this service allows players to play an MMORPG, sometimes not always an MMORPG like Trickster or some of their other games that they have, on their phones through the Purple platform. So you can kind of think of it as blue stacks a little bit, so it depends on the game. Now, some call it NC Purple, I call it Purple because that's literally what it's just called is called purple now in this program players can chat with others while playing and can cross play from your phone to the pc version like i said it's pretty much a stranger version of blue stack so if you're familiar with geforce now it's pretty much that it's geforce now but it's ncsoft so it's their own stuff also i mean the nc purple button is literally on the page on tl.plaync.com so but i'm pretty certain that it's going to be available for you to download on the phone it's mostly linking between your pc and mobile so there is going to be a version that you can play on the phone, but it's mostly as if you want to take the game, you know, like what Google Stadia was trying to do from your PC and then kind of play it on your phone if you want to go elsewhere or whatever, or what Steam Deck has been doing. So that's what Purple is, pretty much. Now, previous titles like Lineage W, although I guess that's already a mobile game, can be played through Purple and on PC through the Purple application. Now, the reason this is important is because NCSoft has been reporting a lot in their investor reports about how mobile game is pretty much taking over the market and how they are dominating it in certain aspects, which they were. I mean, they made a bunch of money. I'm not going to give you the exact number here, but they made a bunch of money from certain titles. So if there's any more proof needed and you're not really sure what this exactly means, simply by visiting the November 2022 investor report, even though that's not going to give you the full kind of picture picture of what's going on because a lot can happen in a business within two months. In the purple sections you see here, there's a little picture that's really hard to see. I'm sure it could be lineage or it could be lineage eternal. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. I meant throne in liberty throne and liberty which one could also see through their timelines here that the ps5 and xbox series x are something that are in their line of sights for games i mean we already know that throne and liberty are coming out for those two but it also looks like they're looking at nintendo switch for other titles so whether or not that means throne and liberty will also be on nintendo switch i don't know who knows i've not really seen a big mmorpg on the switch but if they can make it happen i guess that would be great for their market i guess so that's from the mobile stuff so we've already talked about the crypto stuff about the nft stuff that i'm a little bit worried about it may not come out for throne and liberty yet but there is a strong possibility that they'll add it at some point in the near future and we've talked about purple which is the mobile platform that they own which is kind of like a game streaming service right so we've talked about that now the publisher side of things in the fan discord for throne and liberty there's definitely been a lot of discussions about who is publishing this could it be amazon i know that was a rumor last year there's been a lot of names that have been thrown into the hat cacao most recently has been thrown into the hat so this is half informative half speculative all right so i'm just warning you ahead of time now, what I can say is that based on the development and publishing network that NCSoft is a part of, they basically want to have a global presence as NCSoft. So everyone knows their brand, everyone knows who they are. Now in the same report, you can see some of it here. The green icons mean the publishing entity, so that usually means the company that's kind of taking care of the money part of it, basically being a subsidiary to kind of allow for licensing to happen in different parts of the world. That's the green part. The yellow means this is a publisher. The rest doesn't really matter. I think you can make a pretty easy guess on what's going to happen. And while I don't think that GameForge will end up publishing Throne and Liberty in Europe, I think it's pretty safe to say that NC Soft West or NC West will be the publisher for North America, at least. However, if that were to happen, I'm pretty certain as well they would be for Europe. 
Now this is due for a few reasons. One, the conversation between a publisher and a developer is very delicate. And a lot of times, and I'm trying to be very careful with how I word this, <laughs> the exchange of data between both the publishing entity and the development studio is very limiting because a publisher usually will take care of a few things such as the localization, a lot of the times finding a voice actors and a casting director and so on and so forth. Basically anything that has to do with localization in certain parts of the world and even if that means, you know, localizing things for cultures. So if in one culture, something might be too shocking or not accepted by the general populace, or because laws don't necessarily allow you to publish those type of contents in that general region without sacrificing maybe a rating, it can be complicated. So my speculation here, NC Soft West will be the publisher for North America and Europe. Now, another reason why I think this would happen is pretty simple. Now, if you look at previous games that NC Soft West has published, yes, the websites have have their own domain. You have bladeandsoul.com, guildwars2.com, aeononline.com, guildwars.com, lineage2online, and so on and so forth, right? However, if anyone's noticed, ever since NCSoft has rebranded to NC and things have been more of a unified front for the NC brand, things have changed. Ever since the release of the brand new Lineage 2M, which is now available for NAEU as well, and even though it's a mobile title, the format has changed. For this particular site, even though it is an English site and localized, and it has a publishing entity in North America and Europe, it's lineage2m.plaync.com, much like Throne and Liberties, which is tl.plaync.com. And if anyone's noticed, all the information in the Throne and Liberty website is in English and Korean and other languages. But regardless of who's publishing, whether or not I'm wrong, maybe Amazon is publishing, though I don't necessarily see that happening with Blue Protocol coming. It would conflict with their own scheduling. And additionally, that bridge would just take a long time to cross. And also, I've never seen a single tease or information or anything, either privately or anything, as an Amazon creator. So somebody that partnered with Amazon for Blue Protocol, or if, even if you're a partner for Lost Ark, we're kind of all in the same circle, and no information has even been like teased or anything even privately and again if throne and liberty is coming out in the first half of 2023 which we're already in like the clock has started so i'll have to say that if that's not prepared already months in advance for a game that's coming out within the first half of 2023 i don't think it's going to be amazon again that's just my speculation maybe i'm wrong maybe the amazon will be and this will be a complete bad take and my first bad prediction of 2023 but regardless of who's publishing i have seen this rumor swirl around also because i'm one of the people that started <laughs> <laughs> but one thing is for sure is that just like NCSoft's trickster game in Lineage M, Throne and Liberty is working with Kakao to track data. More specifically, the game's website, if you go and check out either Trickster or Lineage M or Throne and Liberty, they have code in their website's source code that's using something called Cacao Pixel. It's a tracking service that collects data for Cacao to use for advertising purposes. So from my understanding, this is similar to that of Google's ad manager, but given that Google isn't really a feared publisher in the West for games, well, I guess technically if you, if you look at their past games and Stadia, maybe. But anyways, I mean, the point is, I have seen this theory float around. Although it is weird that only three of NC's games implemented this code, it should be noted that Kakao in Korea is a big company. It, I'm not talking about Kakao Games. If I was talking about the publisher, I would have said Kakao Games. I'm talking about Kakao in general. Dom, as some may have remembered that name. It's a big company, they're pretty popular, they have a search engine which is extremely popular, and much like Google actually, it too has its own music app and chatting applications and so on and so forth. So the Kakao Pixel thing shouldn't be looked at with any importance, especially if you look at Throne and Liberty's website. It is a global page for all regions, so North America, Europe, Korea, so on and so forth. And because there isn't exactly a dedicated page for Korea for this game, this code would just be implemented there. So hopefully that clears things up. You know, reasons of why I'm worried about Throne and Liberty and really NCSoft in general, to be perfectly honest. And for people that enjoyed games like Guild Wars 2, they don't really want to see cryptocurrency being added. We've talked about the mobile stuff and we've talked about publishers. It's clear that NCSoft wants to have a global, I guess, awareness of their brand. So everybody knows this is NCSoft. Soft. And also that means more revenue for them because they don't have to share. But again, if we look at the chart that I showed, everything is NCSoft. 
So that aside, to clarify, I do think 100% NCSoft West is going to be the publisher. I would just go with that expectation for now, especially if by now on January, things have not been announced, advertisement has not been announced. If the only advertisement has been from NCSoft side, I would 100% guarantee you that this is going to be NCSoft side. One more piece of evidence for yourselves. If you look at the latest press releases for Throne and Liberty, whether it was the first one, all the way to the latest one with the director's preview. Now, all the information at the very bottom for press releases are related to the press release. So if we look at the press release, it says who NCSoft is, but it also says NCSoft West is a division of NCSoft that holds operating responsibilities for North America, Europe, South America, and Australia, New Zealand, and that more information can be found at NCSoft.com. There's no reason to add this part of information about NCSoft West being a division of NCSoft if it was not in relation to the press releases that are coming out for this game already. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. I've talked a bit too much now, and hopefully this clears things up, and if it doesn't, then and I don't know and if I'm wrong then I guess I'll just be a clown like usual so it is what it is but let me know what you guys think in the comments below whether you do think that this is gonna be the case if you still think that Amazon might take over if you still think that Cal will take over or <laughs> GameForge I think I saw somebody say Gamago which I I I will not comment on <laughs> dear god but regardless let me know in the comments below and we'll talk about it all right guys thanks for watching Make sure to subscribe and click the adorable f***ing bell to know when I upload a brand new video. And don't forget to come join my Discord if you want to chat and hang out. Much love and as always, till next time friends.